dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. Zimbabwe, my name is DJ Ola Seven Owen. Welcome, Madondo. Welcome to yet another episode of On the Spot. You know, this is the program where we chat with people from all walks of life, from business people to sports stars, entertainers, celebrities, politicians, you name them. But tonight, it's a different show altogether. Trust me, this one is going to be my fireworks <laughs> it's happening you know i'm hosting one of the best young female artists um she's also an actor by the way her name is tammy moyo tammy how are you good thanks what do you say how are <laughs> no, no, you no 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 i didn't did, did, did like her like like you're gonna, you're gonna vibrate <laughs> my one. No, i love your vibe i absolutely <laughs> love your vibe oh thank you so i saw you uh your, your performance you know Last time at this year's Nama Awards. Yes. Um, hey, this is an international star. You know, like Thank I was you. in that crowd. I was like, what? Yes. Is this tell me? Even the, <laughs> Even the set. The set. Uh. I think I'm going to get it different. That was <laughs> the plan. Was, it was just like, okay. You were you were giving Beyonce vibes. Oh, really? Trust me. Thank you. I even <laughs> said to, to Tineps and Napoleon, and I said, that was Beyonce vibe. Because, yeah, Thank you can you. say that again. Yeah. So how, how have you been? I'm good. I'm excited. Thank you so much for having me today. It's my pleasure. Long man. time coming. <laughs> I've been saying, Tani, when are you coming? It's like, I'm coming. I'm Ola. coming. <laughs> Finally, you're here. I, what are we as well? You ready now? Today. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, good. <laughs> so, you know what? Um, in an interview, Tani, you did with um, the Herald in 2021, mm -hmm. uh, you said, and I caught something, you said, I hope to be one of the most successful artists across Africa and hopefully win. A BET. Yes. That's called That's You in 2021. <laughs> and from listening to the latest album, hey. Yes. Trust me. Soon. Thank and you. Uh, I think to end my levels here. I want to go to the end. Right? No quite to the end. That's the plan. And uh, I think I'm going to go and ask on the spot. And it's for sure. It's yeah. her first time on the spot. Uh, like she said earlier, uh, she's been saying, I'll, I'll come, I'll come. Mm -hmm. But uh, finally, I'll have pinned up on the spot. So we're going to, we're going to talk about Everything, Everything Tammy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I understand you started singing uh, when you were seven years. Mm -hmm. You know, that's way back. So tell us about your journey through through music. It's a very long journey. Mm -hmm. Almost 20 years of doing what I do. That's not a joke. It's not a joke. Yeah. You can imagine yeah. the level of dedication, mm -hmm. uh, the level of ambition. Wow. Um, I started my journey, like you said, mm -hmm. in grade two, Kuchikoro. Yay. I used to sing in the senior choir when I was a junior. Junior in grade two? Yes. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. the senior choir and again in my grade six, so grade did you, seven. Did you have that angelic voice? I think I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> the little one? I think my parents thought so. Yeah. Obviously. That's I get why. It. Mm -hmm. um, I started my journey when I was seven. Yeah. Um, then I went on to perform at your different platforms like the Namas. Yeah. So you saw me performing at the Namas yes. this year. Yeah. But I started singing at those when way I was like back. eight, nine. Mm. So I would sing the national anthem. Yes. 
um, for all of these amazing events, mm-hmm. your Winter Jazz Festival, yes. your Haifa, your Nama. Mm-hmm. And then I went on tour with Dr. Oliver um, to go at some point. Wow, yes. that's big. Um, Prudence Katameni, Auntie Prudence was yes. mentoring me at the time. And mm-hmm. then Auntie Dudu came into the picture. And yes. obviously my dad. Zimanenga. Dudu Maninga, yes. Wow. Yes. Mm. yes, 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 yes. This is amazing. Amazing. I what a journey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I, I want uh, to understand something. How did your, your family, you know, support, mm-hmm. uh, shape your your career? My family support has been everything. I don't mm-hmm. think I'll be where I am today. Yeah. You know how it is in mm-hmm. our society. Um, it's very rare to find a family that supports Mwana Noita Jimaki Dad. 100%. You know? Yeah. So my parents were very dedicated and like so focused about this journey of mine and they were the ones who discovered it actually. Exactly. Well, my dad said there's something there. Yeah. So he started taking me to all these amazing places, amazing yeah. people. I used to perform at a book cafe a wow. lot. Wow. Yes. That's huge, man. The cafe, Manenberg. <laughs> I know a lot of you might not know that place, but yeah. it was the beginning of so many good things for me. Mm. Um, it's been a essential part of my journey to have my parents support me. Yeah. Um, they made sure that they sacrificed where they needed to sacrifice. It was just a long process of trying to figure out who I am, mm-hmm. Going from being an infant to a teenager mm-hmm. to a young lady, yes. it's also trying to maneuver those stages. Yeah. <laughs> remember. <laughs> exactly. So, uh-huh. <laughs> a lot of it. <laughs> exactly. So, my parents really, really have been so supportive of my journey. And I think, like I said, they used to take their time. They used to tell me to, you know, not listen to what naysayers would say because mm. there was a lot of chit chat around yes. just. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you get? Yeah. So it's family members, it's friends, it's society mm-hmm. at large saying, no, yeah. but they believed in my gift, they believe in my talent. Mm-hmm. And then it just began. Then I went to open for Joe Thomas. Then mm. I went to go to the States. Then. Oh. I keep going to the States. <laughs> All of these amazing, <laughs> New amazing New York, things. by the way. Yes, hey. yes, 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 yes. No, it's been an incredible journey and I'm thankful to my parents. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, let me take you back uh, a little bit. You know, born Thompson uh, Moyo. Yes. On, uh, you know, January 5, 1998. Yes. <laughs> a little one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, what to know, you know, more about you. <laughs> so, where, where were you born? In Harare. Probably, maybe which school did you go to? In, okay. You know? Yeah. I went in primary school. I went to Lusitania Primary School. Mm-hmm. Um, then high school, I went to Westridge High School. Shout out to everybody wow. who went to Westridge High School. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that's that's my childhood. What else do you want to know? <laughs> like no, I'm, we'll to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm the first of six. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm a big sister to five whole human wow. beings. Uh, have one brother, four uh-huh. sisters. Uh-huh. Sanos. Uh, so um I, that's that's me i was born in harare mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know this uh, we our family moved from place to place to mm-hmm. place so i've experienced a little bit of both sides of oh, life yes. and it's been a crucial part of my journey yeah. even in my songwriting yeah. journey mm-hmm. um Yes. Chitan. Uh, which, yes. part, which part of uh, yes. Chitan? Zengeza. Zengeza. Oh. Oh. Pagoba <laughs> Hospital. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I think, um, obviously, as an infant, then we exactly. moved mm-hmm. from place to place to place to place. Yeah. yeah. I, get, I get it. So, yeah. you know, tell us about your first song, your first song. You know, how was the process like? You can tell me you know, also, also considering that you were young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My first song, you know, in the... It's actually two songs. Mm-hmm. It was the double single release oh, in yeah. the African beat, Ne Party Time. Mm-hmm. Party Time was produced by David Sengwayo, oh, DS. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And African beat was produced by Monom Kondo. Oh. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it was. The legend. The legend. <laughs> the living legend. <laughs> the living legend, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was It was interesting. I mean, I was, I was still a baby. I was about 12, 13. Um, and like I said, my, my, my dad is the plug, man. Mm, like sure. He got me into all these spaces. Yes, that you yes. Or something. You know, and I'm so thankful. I love so, that so type of dad, man. Yeah. Yeah, he was always supportive. No? Very, very supportive. So was that your, your turning point in the music career? 
I think I have a lot of turning points. Hey, mm-hmm. I, my journey hasn't been one of oh, this is the breakthrough and that's the final final. Yes. You know, it's yes. been a lot of ups and downs. Mm-hmm. It's been a lot of good and bad, high yeah. and low. So I think that was the beginning of that phase of my life. It was yeah. a good phase, mm-hmm. but I think I don't. <laughs> I don't really have a point where I say it was the turning point. Yeah. I just believe it was an essential point. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or maybe it let's played about, a critical um, role. Maybe let's talk about the positives, you know, yeah. that you can mm-hmm. say they changed your life yes. and carry in music. I have so many of those. Yeah. Um, as an eight year old, meeting Oliver Mtukudzi, Dr. Oliver Mtukudzi. Yes. Meeting Shiwoni Somarayre, mm. meeting Dudu Manenga, meeting Prudence Kazomeni was mm-hmm. a turning point for me. Yeah. Remember, I'm eight. And nine. Hey. And then when I was 10, it was meeting Joe Thomas. Mm-hmm. That was a turning point for me. That's big. That, Joe uh, Thomas. Yes. It's like, you know, it's a world war. Yes. You know, celebrity. Yes. Not yes. like everyone. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then at that point, 11, 12, 13, meeting Monum Kundu and the likes mm-hmm. was a turning point again for me because mm-hmm. this is me saying I'm embarking on a journey now of yes. my own. Remember, all mm-hmm. of this while I'd been singing other people's songs. I was yeah. doing covers mm-hmm. of the many different artists. Then I said, let me venture into songwriting. Yes. My dad was like, start doing songwriting. Mm. 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 So Ipa Boyd was a turning point for me. So you write your own music? I do. Mm. I do. Powerful. I do. But this last project here, I including songwriters. Yes. Which is which is a good thing. Yes. You know, you know the reason why I'm raising this point, or I've said, I've asked you this question, mm-hmm. is because I've seen a lot of uh, good, talented artists. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you, you can tell. No, this is a very good artist, fine yes. artist, but I think uh, yeah, it's and it's, it's, it's not a bad thing to just say, Ningi, come and write a song for me, then no, I'll just do the singing. You know? I, do you know? I want to say, I struggled with letting go of the reins of my yeah. work, yes. for a bit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to yeah. you. For me, I think it's having control over my artistry. Yeah. I've had control over my artistry mm-hmm. for a long time. Yeah. So to trust somebody else mm, uh, yeah, I to understand. give I understand. their best to yeah. me. Yeah. 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 You'd be like, mm, what if they... What if they... Hi. <laughs> it's, it's mostly me. It's like, eesh. Uh-huh. Then I had to understand that mm-hmm. So many incredible people that we see today have mm-hmm. songwriters behind sure, them. There's nothing sure. wrong with that. Yeah, that's yeah. V- that's very true. Yeah. And uh, can you describe, you know, to us that important moment in your career that you say, okay, that you feel reinforced uh, yeah. your decision to pursue music? It's a funny story because it's far away from music, the story uh-huh. of it. I was in A level. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, 17 at the time. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, we just collected our O level results. Yes. And I wanted to do better. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. I wanted to do better for myself. Mm-hmm. And I remember, shout out to Michelle, Michelle Mnyanduki. Mm-hmm. She was my head girl in Form 1. Wow. Right? I got Zoka Kuchkoro mm-hmm. when we were in A level. And she gave a speech about, you know, shaping life the way that you want to see it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And separating yourself from the rest. Yeah, that's powerful. You know, I'm a people person, so I love to be around people. Yes, no further than yes. But I had to make a crucial decision to say, do I keep wanting kudau further or do I do what I want to do? Yes. And that included my studies as well. Mm. You know, when you're collecting your results by admin <laughs> blog, Paya, <laughs> you're on your own. You're on your own. And you're wondering if you're married. Yes. <laughs> then you're thinking to yourself, yes. So I remember thinking to myself mm-hmm. when I was 17, A level, beginning of A level, I said, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. I can do better. Yeah. I can do better. Mm-hmm. So I told my parents that I wanted to do an album. That's when the 18th roller coaster Oh, yes. yes. That one. I, 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 I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember that one. I remember. Yes. You know, I was still on radio. I used to play that you know, album. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Tell me. Because uh, uh, I don't know. guys. I don't know. Sound of bias, but that's really the only reason that song. Yeah, yeah, tell me more. Yeah, thank you because you're talented, right? Thank you so much. Yeah, you're an amazing person, by the way. So, thank you. uh, tell me which album or song would you say uh, helped you or you mm-hmm. to that to break into the mainstream? Dibereke, for sure, mm. for sure. Yeah, yeah, 
I think it came from a very honest place yeah. in my life. Uh-huh. From a very deep place in mm-hmm. my life. Tell us about that song. Um, like I said, my journey was one of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifices from my parents mm-hmm. and from myself as well. Yeah. Um, they sacrifice a lot of my time mm-hmm. to do this music thing. Yeah. So when my friends were out enjoying and all of that, mm-hmm. in, in, on a Saturday, I'd be in the studio. Wow. Busy recording. Busy recording. Yeah. Busy recording. My dad would yeah, say, I'm leaving you at one. I'll come and pick you up at five. Yeah. Make sure you've done this and this and this. Mm-hmm. And you know, before you know it, the weekend is over. Yeah. Sunday, we're going to go church. Then homework. To then Monday, back to school. <laughs> so I think um, Dibereke was a very personal message to myself mm-hmm. to say, don't run from the things that are shaping you. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we uh, we didn't always have everything at, at our disposal. Yes. Like I said, it was mm-hmm. an incredible journey of whatever my parents could yeah. pour into me, mm-hmm. they would. It's not good to change like I want. Yeah. It's good to whatever we have, mm-hmm. we'll use that. Yeah. Hey. So I wrote that song to say, whatever it is that you're going through, sometimes mm. you might not have enough. Yeah. Sometimes you might not be where you want to be, but yeah. such is it. Mm-hmm. Face it head, head uh, on and, and yeah, everything yeah. will come together. That's that's powerful message right there, mm-hmm. Tammy. Um, to, jo- to those just uh, joining us, I'm here talking to uh, Tammy Moyo on the All Seven Podcast Show on the spot. I love this show, by the way, guys. Honestly, because <laughs> she's amazing. The music Thank is amazing. You. The video is amazing. Everything amazing. Okay. <laughs> so in 2012, uh, Tammy, you know, you released your first album, your first music album uh, called celebrate uh, uh, celebrate your life your life yeah mm-hmm. sure so who assisted you in compiling this uh, album my dad wow dad <laughs> you know I mean, guys? I've been saying, that supportive parent you need yes. that one yes huh? yes wow how long did it take i mean you guys to to compile that thing my dad is also a songwriter mm-hmm. so i to tell you goody we took a long time i'll be i'll be lying it's, yeah. it's a while uh-huh um but it took us a, f- a few a few weeks and months because there's obviously mixing, mastering with yes. all of that. Mm-hmm. But it didn't take very long. Cause it, it was it was just two singles, mm-hmm. two so, singles. So how did you manage that? Because you're still in school. You're, yes, you've got school. You've got music. How did you balance? So my two? dad is the one who's very artistic mm-hmm. and he's he loves art a lot. Yeah, he's a musician at heart. Wow. My mom, my mom on the other <laughs> hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mama and mama. Is she that <laughs> that, that strict? <laughs> she's not really strict, but um, she's a mom. Yes, she's a Zimbabwean mother. Yeah. She's an African mother. <laughs> I know what I so, mean. So mumu mumu, I'm superstar. You get what I'm saying? Superstar, see ever draw up? See up. Then you been a mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was a lot of you know. Yes, go to the studio. My dad would take me to the studio, yeah. but as soon as I get home, it's. Mm. Homework. Yeah. Let's do school. Let's do school. Mm. Let's do school. I, 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 now I, I, I understand like it. Mm-hmm. I understand where she was coming from. I think it was, it definitely came from a place of love. Mm-hmm. It was, I want you to do more for yourself. Yes. Um, yes, your talent will car- carry mm-hmm. you through, mm-hmm. but have the knowledge. Sure. Have the know-how. Mm-hmm. Um, acquire the knowledge. Yeah. So that they work hand in hand together. Mm. But what's what's your take uh, on on those who just say, okay, I'm just doing music. I'm now uh-huh. leaving school. Even in form one, form two, yes. I'm, I'm now leaving school. I don't want to do uh, anything to do with school anymore. I want okay. to focus on my career. What, what what's your take on that? To be very honest with you, now that I'm a little bit older, my obvious stance is stay in school. Mm-hmm. Stay in school for as much as you can. Hold on to school for mm. as much as you can. We come from different homes, yeah. different backgrounds. Sometimes school or not Things are tough. Mm. Um, you might come from a household where things are not looking so great for yes, you. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. So you have to choose one or the other. Yeah, very true. And if that is the path you need to take at the time, mm-hmm. go for it. Mm-hmm. But if you can stay in school, if the resources are there, and if you have the chance to stay in school, mm-hmm. Just go to school. Yeah. You use it. I you like will that. need it. I like that. Because somebody yeah. is saying, no, I'm not focusing on my career. What yeah. if your career reaches, I mean, reach its um, decline stage? Yeah. Who start on Botanga? Kuna no Piro Stotanga, but Fungo and Doki, then was Sage Koro. And like, you'll like, you be looking at your age, like, okay, I'm now uh-huh. I'm now 28 or I'm now 30. Mm-hmm. Should I go back to school and say, now you're from two, from three, from no, four? I've heard of so many musicians who've also dropped out of school yeah. to, to start their careers. Mm-hmm. 
honestly, we all are meant to embark on different journeys. Yes. Mupenyu, yeah. Right. I was mm-hmm. watching documentary. Yeah. A very famous musician the other day, and mm-hmm. he gave up everything that he had mm-hmm. to pursue his career. Wow. And he moved from his home. Mm-hmm. Um, and it worked out in the end for him. Yeah. So it's about different things for different people. Mm-hmm. But from where I'm standing, I'm so grateful to my parents that yes. they allowed me to pursue an education. Mm-hmm. And now I'm at a position where I can decide if I want to further my studies yeah. or not. But yeah. Dinajo, I have something with yes. me. So yes. I encourage those who can stay in school to please stay in school. Mm. But if your journey and your conviction says otherwise, mm-hmm. then follow your heart. This is art. Besides music, let's say, you've got your ambitions. I want to be a pilot. Yeah. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a policeman. I want to be mm. a police. <laughs> <laughs> what else? You, what, what, what was your ambition? I wanted to be a lawyer. A lawyer? Yeah. So, uh, are we going to see uh, Tammy one day on the dock? Maybe. Uh-huh. Maybe. I mean, I also believe that I was also given an opportunity to venture into advocacy. Mm-hmm. Through music. Yes. yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm advocating for something yes. through the music yeah. that I am doing. So I've done a lot of campaigns with a lot of causes behind them. Mm-hmm. And I believe that's also another another aspect of advocacy. Yeah. But yeah. yes, one day I definitely do hope to go behind the book. <laughs> Again, I ask my guitar. Your worship. <laughs> no, 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 no. My Lord. I was going to do I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But anyways, uh, in 2017, uh, Tommy, you had your first nomination in the National Arts Merit Awards. That's yes. the NAMA you know, Awards for, ex- for the excellence in your role. Yes. Um, how did you feel? I felt really good. Yeah. Really, really good. I know the feeling. Imagine, like I said, I started attending the NAMAs when yes. I was seven, eight. Uh-huh. And to me, it was just a performance. Then, mm-hmm. as I got older, I started to realize we teach critical exactly, mouth. Exactly. exactly. I hope one day uh-huh. I can also be a part of this of whole these, thing yeah. as a nominee. Yeah. So it was a nice feeling. Uh-huh. It was a good feeling. Right? Mm. That was in 2017. But I, 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 very soon, I, I see you getting more awards. Thank you. It's not a prophecy, but I'm saying it like it's a prophecy. Because <laughs> I, I see you getting you know, lots of awards. Thank you. And not only local uh, awards. Um, but maybe international. international, yeah. Yes. Who knows? I, I I saw Tyler, you know, recently yes. getting that big award. Yes. What's stopping us? I, I I see you getting that one. Thank you. Trust me. And please, guys, um, take note of this and record or keep <laughs> this clip. <laughs> it's for some clips because one day just okay. Remember. Yes. And you remember. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the opportunity to me to perform in the biggest Zimbabwean music, um, uh, Zimbabwe's I mean, festivals, such as Harare International Festival. Yes. Um, you know, the Shoko Festival. You know, mm-hmm. tell me, tell, tell us, how did this opportunity uh, came your way uh, at that young age? Um, th- I think teamwork, mm-hmm. I believe, makes the dream work, mm-hmm. like they say. So my, my team... Worked very, very hard, mm-hmm. tirelessly to knock on the right doors. Yes. And some of them came our way naturally. Mm-hmm. They can go, oh no, oh no, we love what you do. Yeah. Come through, we've got this happening. And then we began to network. So it's about networking. It's yeah. about a team that is devoted and dedicated to mm-hmm. pursuing those opportunities for you. Yes. Um, and obviously social media did the thing. Mm. Uh, social, social media, media did the thing. One person sees you and they're <laughs> all the way in Norway. The yes. next thing they're thinking, we mm-hmm. want you for this festival in Norway. Yeah. So, yeah. That's 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 what happened. My management, is, they work overtime. They work very I, hard. I, I, I like that. And to, I mean, uh, to have a good management team mm-hmm. is everything. It's everything. Because if you don't have the management team, you'll be like, I'm going to stress you. I'm telling but you. But if you have a good management, you'll be like sitting back and relaxed. Like, okay, guys. <laughs> Tell me it's not time for makeup. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how you. it works. But <laughs> 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 say, okay, go pick up your, 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 your clothes, uh, your makeup, your outfit. Yeah, life is going to go floor just like that. I no. mean, uh, yes, a little bit of that, yeah. but there's a lot of the artist has to put in the work as yes, well. Yeah, hey, yeah, you can't, you can't be sitting. Tell me, how many albums do you have now? I and have, are you happy with where you are now? I have three albums, and I'm grateful for where I am. Mm-hmm. 
um happy yes mm-hmm. to an extent yeah. but grateful mm-hmm. more than anything else yes. to not tender mm-hmm. i'm thankful yeah yeah and let's talk about the new album the latest one yes. hey let me just start by congratulating <laughs> you thank you congratulations well done on the new album uh, thank you so Tommy, much you know 11 songs uh, is not a joke it's not a joke 11 songs pakashandwa mm-hmm. mongo and anga rima one but firstly why the name bold let's talk about that yeah like like i said earlier on it was a journey of coming into my own mm-hmm. it was a journey of discovering who i am and mm-hmm. what i like for me yeah um it was also a statement of innovation yeah sometimes as young people mm-hmm. as a female as a zimbabwean yeah. um you might feel like a misfit mm-hmm. um you're not invited to certain spaces yes true. right mm-hmm. so you ask yourself a lot of questions mm-hmm. am why? i not deserving mm-hmm. why did mm-hmm. they not invite me mm-hmm. why was i not there yeah but then god in my shit that it yeah they can't understand hey you know it was it was about it was about um we create our own tables mm. even if they don't invite yeah. us to their tables we we'll make our, our own tables wow i like that yeah that's a bold statement it is oh, it explains why it's called bold <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i, I like yeah. that but when we mentioned like about you know being i mean not being invited yeah do you have that incident where you say mm, i was hurt because i didn't get an invite too many which one <laughs> Let's talk about that. You're on the spot. <laughs> yeah, definitely on the spot. I mean, yeah. uh, I won't I won't mention names, but you know, a couple of events. Mm-hmm. You know where I felt like, wow, I think I I would have been a great fit for that. Yes. yes. You know? Mm-hmm. But you're just not invited to the table. Exactly. Do you think sometimes it's about Chizivano to say we want Ningi with Ano gona or gona but it's about Chizivano? Yeah, there's a little bit of that. Mm. In any space, mm-hmm. in any industry, there's definitely a little bit of that. Yeah. Mm. And it's, it's painful because sometimes it's no rare in the suppose but people from as singa go on but there's someone and got you go on but no problem can. But life is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> and, and someone's even say to me, "Oh, life is never fair." It's not fair. Yeah. So some people go for it get a fair. It's not fair. You got to fight for what you believe in. Yes. You got to fight for your spot. Uh-huh. I like that. Yeah. So create your spot. Tell us about the creative process mm-hmm. of this album, Bold. It was a long time coming. Mm-hmm. Just over one year of putting in hours and hours and hours of work. Jeez. It was back and forth with production, mm-hmm. the different pro- producers and production houses. Mm-hmm. It was the meeting directors and trying to explain your yes, vision. Yes. Um what I wanted for myself. Mm-hmm. It was my management knocking on the different doors wow. to say we want to use this space, we want to be in this space. Mm-hmm. Can you avail this for Tammy? It was a lot. It mm. was a hectic process. Yeah. Um but it was a worthy process. I worked with many different producers mm-hmm. from your well known to your up and coming who yes. were just as brilliant. I mean, everybody who's on this project is very deserving mm-hmm. of the name that they've created for themselves yeah. and I think my project is a testament to that. Whether yeah. it's the stylist, mm-hmm. shout out to Drip. <laughs> uh Drip Cycle. I have yeah. so much yeah. love for yeah. Drip. Uh-huh. Um a shout out to Jeremiah Spirit Fingers. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rodney Beats. Yes. Shout out to Mr. Brown. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Levels. Shout out to Wayne Beats. Yeah. Those are the five producers on this. You production. you mentioned about the well-known and the upcoming yes. you know producers. Why work with the uh, upcoming? This is um there's a reason why I'm asking this uh-huh. question. Yeah. I'm a product of so many people who gave me a chance. So, I believe in giving other people a chance. I like that. That was exactly the reason why I asked you that question. Because <laughs> you know, people tend to think, okay, since I'm here, let those who are there. <laughs> remain I mean, there. it's a it's a bit of both. Yeah. I want to be very honest with yeah. you because we are on the spot. Yeah, right. Sure. Um, I don't believe in being entitled mm-hmm. as a person. Yeah, work for your own. Uh huh. I'll tell you one day about a okay I'll tell you about a collaboration that I did at some point mm-hmm. when I initially asked for that collaboration. Yes. Right. <laughs> there was a conversation about oh no you need to grow your brand mm. a little bit. Hey. And I didn't take it personally because okay. I understood. Mm-hmm. So, okay. And then when we finally did the collaboration it yes. was fireworks. Really? You know and it was it, it wasn't an issue of known 
That's what Tapu oh, and the next person. Yes, it was yes. each and every one of you. You've got yes. your own strong, it, independent it, it, it brands. Balanced. It was balanced. Yeah. So I don't believe in being entitled. Mm-hmm. I believe in giving opportunity to those who are deserving, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I also believe that one should work for their own spots. That's it's very a true. little bit of both. That's very true. Yeah. That's tummy for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be on the spot. So how long uh, did it take you, I mean, to make that album? Over a year. Over a year. Over a year. Yeah, I'm about to go guys. My street team is busy. Post up, post up. You just say, "Oh, I'm busy." I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about that. I know this is not a fair question, but um, yeah. which one is your favorite one? You know, your favorite track from this yeah. album. That's a that's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, you, you did say it's exactly. a tough. One. I love every 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 song because they're very different from each other. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that, that, was, that was big. Why why do you love that? Because the, the message is very very close to oh, home. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very close to home. I mm-hmm. mean, I wrote that song at a point in my life where I felt like, ah yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, uh, a lot of doors, as much as they were opening, some were closing. Yeah, and some of those closed doors that I I really needed them to open at the time, but. Mm-hmm. Um, life has a way of yeah. working itself yeah. out, yeah. and it happened for a reason. Mm. But at that point, they feel like, oh, oh, Anna. I'm just going to share. Uh, and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all love. It's all love. I yeah. mean, like I said, don't feel entitled to anything mm-hmm. in life. Yeah. Work for your own. Mm-hmm. Continuously work for your own. Yeah. Um, always look at rejection as redirection. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of quotes. That you see on on the Always internet. Always look at rejection as redirection. Yeah. Ish, guys, I've learned something today. <laughs> redirection. <laughs> all, all those re- the rejections. It's true. I what? Yeah. That one's gonna take me that. <laughs> so you featured um, Saint Flo mm-hmm. on uh, personally. Yes. So tell us about the song. Oh my goodness! Personally, in yeah. total, the same thing. Yeah. She could tell about. Quite no end. Right. Right. It talks about don't take anything personally. Mm-hmm. This album is a bold statement to yeah. say, uh. I'm not going to take all those closed doors on mm-hmm. me as mm-hmm. anything personal. I think it's a message to a lot of my peers, mm-hmm. to myself, yeah. to young people, to anybody who feels like, mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. take it personally. Yeah. Go back to the drawing board, rewrite your story mm-hmm. and write your story how you want it to play out. Mm. And work towards that. So personally, is Tichaita will must marry at some point. <laughs> it it will come. It will come. It will come. I, I just I, have I, to I keep like working. As Tichaito must marry at some point. Yeah. You know. You know that statement. It, it, it said no one guy. I'm not gonna budge. Hey, these guys are never married. So bad. Look at me. Look at me. I'm like ah, I both watch Tichaito very young. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah. So moving on, uh, Tabi, you know your view, your, your videos are always um, you know on point. Most people have good music, uh, but sometimes when it comes to Nyadzima videos, they're yeah. just like you know, let's just do a video, or whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But um, they always fall short of quality, you know. I get when it. it. Comes to the video production, mm-hmm. but yours are always up there. What's your secret? Tell us about that. Your videos are on point, you know. The production, even I mean, the directors. Yeah, yeah. I think. The, I think the secret is just being very intentional mm-hmm. about everything. I understand what you're saying. Sometimes the quality is compromised mm-hmm. on s- different productions, yeah. right? But if you can control it, be very intentional. Mm-hmm. Don't do something because faster, faster. Yes, I mean, it, 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 it does work. Mm-hmm. It does work for certain people, mm-hmm. but. I believe in quality over quantity. Very, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's so profound. Uh, that's Tammy Moya for you. So, how much do you spend normally on a single video? Well, uh, <laughs> let's talk about that. You're on the spot, my guy, because that production is just amazing. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. So, I'm, I'm just wondering. Okay, I want to know. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> how much at the single? I mean, single range. video. Range. Um, I think it, it ranges from maybe a K to about three K. Single video. Yeah. One. Yeah. But yeah. but So yeah. guys But the secret, uh-huh. like I said, 
is build that revenue over time yes. and do the one video for yourself mm-hmm. that is a statement yeah. rather than the five videos that are not of great quality yes. to get me. Yes, I get it. So you find that you still spend the same amount of money mm-hmm. if you do five videos, yeah. probably um, adding less at mm-hmm. a lesser amount, but the quality, like I mm-hmm. said, so it's then up to you as an artist to, to say, do I want mass content or do I want quality content or both? You mm-hmm. can still have both. But how then do you retain that, that money? How do you get it back? Like you spend, uh, let's say a thousand or two, yeah. But a single video, uh, are you going to get m- your money back from shows or is it like uh, AdSense from YouTube? Yeah, um, I, I guess your team just has to be on the pulse about it. Yeah. Um, finance is, is mm-hmm. a big part of yeah. music business. Mm-hmm. So you need to have somebody who is with you, yeah. supporting you, keeping account of mm-hmm. everything, everything that, you, that yeah. you're doing mm-hmm. and deliberately placing that money in the right places yes. and making a plan to 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 return sometimes it doesn't no mm-hmm. chokwadi yes sometimes it's an investment mm-hmm. more than it is i need my returns it's a sacrifice mm. it's a sacrifice that you have to make for your craft but be wise if you can have someone who can do the accounting for you and accountant for you mm-hmm. and look at it as a business you will you will return don't do everything you get a return alone on yourself just keep on no maybe. <laughs> okay no i have an incredible team i like that so yeah. guys let's take a short break we'll be right back i'm talking to uh, Tammy moyo you know she just released bold, bold album a new album have you listened to i mean yet can also you guys go check it out on youtube right now right <laughs> every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, insurance, pay bills, and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. Welcome back to On The Spot here on the Ola 7 Podcast Show. I'm talking to Tammy Moyo. You know, she just released the new album, latest album called Bold, 11-track album. It's a very good album, trust me. And uh, Tammy, you know, uh, I want to find out from you. You have collaborated with, uh, you know, a number of big artists, uh, the likes of Ja Preza, Nati O, Takura, Shinso Man, yeah. and the late uh, Soja Love, mm-hmm. uh, also... Um, Master H, Saint Flo, yes. just to mention the few, but I wonder, you know, how was it working with these artists? It was such an incredible thing for me, an amazing experience for mm-hmm. each collaboration. Mm-hmm. I learned so many different things from the different artists, yeah? and just yeah, man, yeah. I love yeah. what they do. That's the reason why I work with these people. I'm very mm-hmm. deliberate, it's yeah. people who. I look at their craft and I mm-hmm. think to myself, wow. Yes. Munano gono. Mm-hmm. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like that. But uh, <laughs> pa, 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 ni, uh, maybe still in the collabs, we saw you did the visuals of Rudo. Uh, you featured Ja Love yes. you know, in November. Tell us uh, about your work with the Let Soja Love. I mean, um, it was an incredible process. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was done by Sunshine, the yeah. producer. Yeah. Um, together with Manuchi and mm-hmm. Tainash. Uh, it it was it was such an experience for me because um, I've always been a fan of 
soldier love. Yeah. Dara. Exactly. Dara. <laughs> yeah, like, I, 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 big, I, I, big fam. So, so it was it was an incredible experience for me. Production obviously mm-hmm. then ended a little bit just after he um he left us. Yes. May so rest in peace. Yeah, indeed. Um so it was tough. It was hmm. tough to to finish that project. I, I I remember you texted me telling me that Ola there's a new pro, pro, uh, project coming mm-hmm. uh which I did with um uh, Jara. I was like, "Oh, Mm-hmm. About Jala I was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I keep a lot of my stuff in the yes, vault. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I didn't see that one coming. And sure. when 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 we released that album, how was the reception? Um, uh, that song, I mean, the song was, it was, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. I mean, just the message of the song itself. It's mm-hmm. something that he preached about a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's love on each other whilst yeah. we still have the opportunity. So mm-hmm. sometimes when um sometimes when I perform that song, it's my favorite song yeah. to perform actually. Nice. When I do perform it, I feel I feel a lot of things in my chest. Yeah. I feel ah <laughs> I feel such a deep love yeah. for what I do. Mm-hmm. Um for soldier love yeah. himself. Yes. It moves me in a way that I can't explain. Mm. Like it brings, it brings me to a very emotional place. I understand. A, a very touching place. I, I understand. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it's a lot. I it's know. a lot. I, I miss him till this very day. Mm-hmm. I I miss his presence. I know that everybody feels this. Mm-hmm. Like even on the scene, the social yes. scene, his yes. absence is yeah. felt day yeah. in day out. Yeah. There's one of us that is missing it, and each and every day. When you listen to something, when you listen to some of this music that's mm-hmm. out, you know that it was yes. inspired by yes. him. Yes. You can hear him mm-hmm. in other people's music. And yeah. that's how powerful of an artist he was. Mm. He was a force. A yeah. force. Yeah. That's yeah. the word. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you're just um, a versatile artist. Before maybe I move on to this question, um, you know, working with Jalav mm-hmm. must have been something else. Because yeah. uh, Jalav was just such a creative way where we say, okay, be my or Rover. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Was that the same? I mean, Pamakashan uh, na Jalav? He was himself. Mm-hmm. He was himself. Just like that. Shoot. Yeah. Did he write down the lyrics? No. <laughs> no. So that guy, that guy, I, I, I sh- No. We miss him so dearly. But with <laughs> Iroh, was like, my name is Wes, you know, you're genuine so passionate about talent, it. Mm. genuine art. Yeah. Authentic. So, yeah, like I was saying, you are just a versatile, you know, artist and um, you can collaborate with different artists. You can, with anyone, by the way, with anyone. Thank you. Um, and also, the songs like My Hits, I'll get an, um, from Kuteri alongside Ja Praiser. Yes. You know, tell us about working with uh, a music giant like, like Ja. Wow. That's big, man. It's the most interesting session I've ever had till day. Yeah. Because, um, to date, sorry. Because he was learning from me. <laughs> it was so strange. Hey, I'm it learning was from you. so strange to yeah. me. Yeah. I have yeah. so much respect for, for Jack Prezer. He never, ever makes you feel like, I want any more. Uh-huh. uh-huh. He'll be asking me, like, yeah. how do you think I should sing this? Yes. Um, should I rewrite this uh-huh. line? Oh, you're not. Ha- I made him sing like a couple of the lines over and over again. Hey. Then that's when you're. Then that's when you're out. Exactly. But he did it over and, and over, over and over again. And wow. even after, mm-hmm. even after the session, he kept coming back to say, "Are you happy, Ne Abba? Yes. Should, do you think we should fix this?" And mm-hmm. I have so much respect for that. Mm-hmm. And Ja Praiser, a lot of people don't know this, but. He's also one of the artists who took me on when I was still starting out when I was about 16, 17. Wow. Um, I remember, but just before I remember, 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 I rem
Wala pina wa performa. Wa ta han ngang mana kang ko kan wa imba. Boka mbo boka onai. Bo puro ire o ba. Ben ka stami. Ah, nice. Ah, no man. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I I remember doing one of my first big shows mm. as a solo artist to HICC at his launch. Yeah. I was so so afraid yeah. and nervous hey. and he just said to me just do your crowd. thing, you know. Like who? It was scary. Mm-hmm. It was nerve-wracking, but yeah. Job Razor is somebody I respect so much mm-hmm. and I I love what he does. I love that he continues to evolve as mm-hmm. an artist. He yeah. continues to um grow as yes. an artist. Mm-hmm. He's never satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. And that's true. what artistry is about. It's how do I grow from this last experience? Mm-hmm. How do I do better? Yes. And I I take that from him. I learned mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. from from him as well. He's He's just an amazing human being. Mm. He's fun to be around also. Wow. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> I understand you've worked with a lot of artists, but kuma film artists, kuma local film artists. Eh, zaka mera se pano ambo shinda na we so far. I have. Mm-hmm. I have. Or maybe you prefer male No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I yeah. have. I have worked on a couple of projects. Uh-huh. Um they are in the pipeline like i said some of these things I can't mm-hmm. come out and say oh no this is on the way or this is on the way. Mm-hmm because it's it's also them it might be some of their work as yeah, well so yeah. just out of respect for them mm-hmm. but i have a couple of projects that i've worked on with 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 female artists and yes. i hope to do more mm-hmm. i hope to do more in future i believe there's a lot of mm-hmm. females who are killing it who are incredible who are just amazing at what they do mm. so it's something that i'm working on just like you guys yeah. never anticipated yeah. gold was coming exactly. it's, it's the same thing <laughs> it, it'll hit you someday <laughs> all right yeah. that's fine so uh this is an, uh, a difficult question but uh, i'm sure you have we must have the answer <laughs> do you have any competition who is your competition i kn- i knew you were going to ask that yeah my competition is me is you it's me you're not competing with anyone no nope. you're not trying to be better than anyone no Really? No. Wow. <laughs> This no. is shocking. Okay, I I want you to look at every production that I've ever done mm-hmm. from the beginning of my journey till now. Mm-hmm. Right? These three projects, these three bodies of work. Mm-hmm. Look at each one and ask yourself which one was the best one. Yeah. Mm. And when you answer that question yeah. honestly, mm-hmm. you'll understand why I say my competition <laughs> is me. Yes, yes, no, I understand. The goal is to always outdo mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you look at uh, other female artists in the industry, mm-hmm. for example, let me give you an example from um, Melissa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know Melissa, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on her music? I think she's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she's cool. I think I I think she's got something going on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also amazing. Kiki Bad Bad. I love Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kiki. <laughs> I love her. But maybe maybe one day you should collaborate with Kiki. Uh, this is just you me. You never know. I, 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 I mean the vibe. I can't wait. The vibe. Oh, she's a vibe. You there? Kiki <laughs> there? Like, okay. I love her. It'll be like um Beyonce and Nikki sort of oh. I love Kiki <laughs> so much. I don't know how many times I've said that. Cuz people say <laughs> cuz people say um uh, Kiki and Rova but Nikki Minaj. Uh, Then yeah. you say uh, yeah, Tammy Beyonce. So <laughs> how about you know putting these two together? Oh yeah. Yeah, you never know. Right? You never know. <laughs> What about Shashio? I think she's dope. Uh-huh. I think she's very dope. Any in, in, maybe do you, do you wish to work with um Shut you? Yeah, I mean, w- why not? Mm-hmm. If the opportunity presents itself, I'm yeah. very open to that. I, mm-hmm. I think she's incredible. She's got her own thing going on, and it's cool. It's cool to watch. Yes. Yeah. So I know you really wish to collaborate uh, with Beyonce. You know, I, that I know. That <laughs> yeah. I know. Is there my yeah. plans, everybody? Eh. Is there my plans? My mom, my initial plans, which is Toshka Sebala Beyonce. Serious. <laughs> But ne- never never doubt your your talent. No. Never doubt yeah. your talent. Never doubt your capabilities. Just approach the right team, the right guys. True. Say guys, okay. Um Tinema Zimbo is You know, I, I I forgot this name, uh the name of this producer man who produced uh, one of Brian the Brian Soko. Uh, you know I mean I know yes. that's a plug already. <laughs> Brian so if you talk to Brian so no, shout out to Brian. We exactly. we are cool. We, yeah. we 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 talk. We are in you conversation. Yeah. So I, I think he's 
definitely onto something. Yeah. Obviously, he uh-huh. produced for one of the biggest, uh, if yeah. not the biggest artist in the world. In the world, yeah. That's something that he should be given credit for, and so wow. much respect to Brian Sogo. Yeah. And yeah, he. So that, that that's <laughs> a, that's a plug there. You yeah. say, Brian, you talk to Beyonce. You want pro- you, you want produce for, Brian, for Beyonce? Brian, please talk to Beyonce. Exactly, simple thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for that one. I, I can't wait to see that collab. You know, Tommy with the energy, the dance moves. Oh, by the way, let's talk about your dance moves. Tommy. <laughs> mm, singing is one thing. Then the dance moves is another thing. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> the, the way you say the hell is so good. No, 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 let's talk about that. Yeah, the, when, when do you get the energy, the vibe? I love to dance. Yeah. I really, really love to dance. It's really into you, right? I think it's my thing. Yeah. I really enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. I see. I really when, whenever it. you're performing, ah, even if you can't dance, I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Other ah, moves. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> like guys got. No, but, but, but do you have a trainer? Do I have a trainer? Um, I've got uh, my dancers. Mm hmm. Uh, they they are my trainers. Also, they train you. They don't let you this move. <laughs> yeah. Now, true man, it, this dance not a good trainer yeah. at the moment. Yeah, like I'm the weakest one in the uh-huh. group. It's it's actually really sad to watch wow. when you come to the rehearsal. Yeah. Like, hey, but why not? But 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 you're a good but learner. They've got though. me. You're a good student. You're a good learner. I think so. <laughs> I, I, I'm very open to learning, yeah? especially about something that I'm passionate about. Yes. Yeah. No father's way could chamber, guys. Oh. And then no chamber for bus. I was going to go chamber. Exactly. But you want to chamber. <laughs> 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 true. So, uh, can you share a story of a particular challenge you know you faced in your career and how you managed to overcome it? You know, every uh, every career uh-huh. got my challenges are you and everything. You know. So your your you, the, the one you remember say hmm, challenge and come face up by guy career mango. Does it have to be a, a a phase or an incident? Probably, yeah, both. Um. I think I, str- I I struggled with understanding mm-hmm. seasons. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I struggled with understanding seasons. That there's a season for everything. There's a season for you to shine. Mm-hmm. Then there's a season for you to go underground. Okay. And work. Mm-hmm. Then come out. Then come out again. Yeah. And do it over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. There's never like a final stop. So I think yeah. for me, one of the challenges mm-hmm. in that season yeah. was letting go of my idea of what songwriting is mm. and letting other people do that for yes. me. Yes, yes. Like you mentioned earlier mm-hmm. on, there's nothing mm-hmm. wrong with it, but yeah. I really struggled with mm-hmm. that. Um, but shout out to the likes of Delroy Shewe. Yes, Delroy. I love Delroy. Wow. I think he's he's just one of the best. Mm-hmm. He's a force to reckon with. He mm-hmm. is talented beyond wow beyond years so he wrote uh, he wrote some of the songs on board wow yeah wow. big shout out to you Adderoy. <laughs> including the hey yeah ah, i like that i like that <laughs> i like out that to shout out to you my guy yeah. and uh, you know how do you balance your music career with uh, personal time and social activities mm. especially you know given the um, sacrifices you you yeah. mentioned Aish. That's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, I can't really say I have much of personal time. Mm-hmm. Because in my personal time, I'm thinking about work. Yeah. I'm thinking about the music. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. If I get an idea, I want to stop what I'm doing immediately and like attend to that idea yes, quickly. Yes, but yes. I've got an incredible circle of friends and mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. When I'm with them, I feel... At home, mm-hmm. at ease. Yes. You know, to Naki, the, to, to yeah, yeah. Yes. We dance, we mm-hmm. talk, we chat. Um, yeah, I think that's needed in life. Yeah. So, I love to swim mm-hmm. as well. Okay. Yes, I love water. I love water. Swimming question. Eh. Okay. <laughs> 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 I wish to see you wearing that one. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got told but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay. a good swim, I love yeah. water, uh-huh. any like going to the beach, yes. all of that. And yes. you enjoy it so much. Wherever mm-hmm. there's a pool, you find me yeah. there. I love yeah. it so much. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. So do you still talk to your old friends, like your school, your high school friends? Yes. Probably primary school uh, yes. friends? Yes. Because when people bloom, sometimes they, they forget, you know, uh, those uh, friends, uh, like, ah, I just see what's up with you. You I, know? 
<laughs> I like, no, I want to I want to be very honest with you. Remember I started singing when I was 7. Yeah. Um I even was part of a girl group mm. when I was in grade 6. Wow. Siya tu itaka performance kid ku youth zone ku Haifa. Siya my grade 7. Way back. Uh, way back. Yeah. And then I also was part of a band, yeah, it was the Tribe Africa and yeah. Silent Mo was a part of that oh, band yeah. as well. Uh-huh. Um my musical journey has just been a crazy one yeah. and all those people mm-hmm. till this day like didn't know hold on to those yes. things so, so they, much. They, they really shaped so your, your career. They so. did. Yeah. They did. So I'm very good friends with my friends from primary school mm. my friends from high school as yeah. well. Yeah. That's a good thing. So you once performed at the Uganda Africa Choir you know together <laughs> with the three other colleagues uh, yes. in a charity gig in Madison Square. Madison Square. Um, a garden in New York. Yes. That's big. How did you yes. get there? I mean, you know, it's a big thing. Um, it, it was, it was it, once again my parents mm-hmm. just knowing to knock on doors, mm-hmm. the right doors. Yeah. So I went with three other young people and the African Children's Choir. Mm-hmm. It was, um, it was just a concert mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. At the time, I didn't understand what the chichi but I knew that it was a big deal because yes, you're yes. standing in front of about 20,000 people Yay. as a nine-year-old. Amanaga. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh-huh. But yeah. how, how did that make you grow? I think exposure is important, mm-hmm. not just for an, a creative, but just in life, in mm-hmm. Hupenyu. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Seeing things, going to New York at that age kind of shaped the vision and the dream that I have today. Mm, yeah, it's ish. One day I want this to be my own concert. Yes, yes. The Chimbiro of Anu Twenty Thousand. Waka Zadza Stadium. Waka Zadza. National Sports. Yes. But I started talking about Nigeria. Waka Zadza. Ima wani National Sports. I uno sa zone wa show, but it's it's okay. <laughs> no, it's a task. Yeah. It's a task. Yeah. I don't want to lie to you. Mm-hmm. I look at the likes of um, you know, Benaboy. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's an inspiration to yes. to me. Bena is filling up stadiums. He's filling up stadiums. Different countries, by the way. He's filling up stadiums. Na- Namibia is going to Brazil. Mm-hmm. Is New York, whatever. Yeah. Filling up those stadiums. I'm like, hey, this is international stuff. Yeah. I, I look at that. him, yeah. but like you're saying, the yeah. beginning of what I want for myself yeah. started at that point. Mm-hmm. It's, hey, I want to go back to that place. Yeah. So how do I make it happen? Mm-hmm. I work towards the vision. Yes. So that is the goal. That is mm-hmm. the vision one day yes. to fill up a stadium. Mm. Mm. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? But Zimbos love you. <laughs> trust, <laughs> I love trust them me. too. Trust I me. Zimbos love I you. I do. I'm very proud to be Zimbabwean. Very, I, to- very I-, proud. I talked about, uh, earlier on I talked about your performance, your energy, your vibe, but, but let's talk about your style. You know? Yeah. Uh, the way you dress, your hairstyle. Tell us more about that. Ash, I was, get- <laughs> I was getting a lot of heat this yeah. morning about that. Yeah. But um, I think my style has evolved over time Mm -hmm. obviously because of growth as a person Mm -hmm. from being a young lady um um, i mean an an infant to a teenager adolescent yeah to a young lady yeah so that's now i'm walking in heels (laughs) that was a whole conversation with my mom (laughs) (laughs) yeah because you know i i was a little bit of a tomboy yeah Oh, yeah. growing up. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I was very sporty. Uh-huh. Very, very sporty. Right? And brother. <laughs> so you can imagine. Yes. Taiwana wrestling. Exactly. I think I was. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, being a tomboy. I know. I know sometimes you'll be like, ah, I'm sorry, you're sorry, you're sorry. You know? <laughs> to my brother, I yeah. was. Okay. To my brother, I was. But in actually, funny enough, in 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 grade seven, I was the head girl at my primary school. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So I think there's a fine line between being a bully and a leader. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> at the same time. Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So my style has changed over time. And I think it really depends on the different phases that mm-hmm. I've gone into. Um, remember, I did Vuzi Jenna for yes. quite some time. Yeah. I was in the white hair. And you know that was a statement mm-hmm. at, at at that, at that time. time. Yeah, it was, okay. it was symbolizing me acquiring knowledge and and wisdom. And for mm-hmm. sure, in that yeah. season, in that time, 
I was asking myself a lot of mm-hmm. questions. I wanted to understand. Mm-hmm. I wanted to understand a lot of things. I wanted mm-hmm. to. I had a lot of questions. So it was a time of knowledge, acquiring mm. knowledge, and yeah. and white hair obviously symbolizes yes. growth and mm. wisdom and knowledge over time. Mm. So that's what Vudzi Jenna was about. And then now I just said, I don't think hair mm-hmm. is going to define me for yes. the rest of my life. Yes. I'm an artist mm-hmm. at heart and I can evolve and change into mm-hmm. s- so many different things. And this is where I am now. I think I'm in my little young lady phase. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, and, and talking about, um, you know, the the dressing. Yes. The way you dress on stage. Yes. Do you get criticized sometimes? Yes. Mm-hmm. How do you take that criticism? And why do you, or maybe how? why did you choose to, I mean, perform in that? Fashion is expression. Fashion, yeah, yeah. Fashion is expression. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I learned that from uh, my stylist. Uh, we worked together for a long time. Then I, yeah, Madondo, mm-hmm. Madondo, House of Stone. You, you see, <laughs> we are blessed, man. We are blessed. <laughs> House of Stone. I worked yeah. with Danai for a really long time. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I work with many different stylists. Mm-hmm. Now I work with Ranga, um, and 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 Drip as well. Mm-hmm. I mentioned Drip yeah. earlier on. Mm-hmm. I think fashion is expression. It's a statement on its own, and yeah. I feel like you should be comfortable in your skin mm-hmm. and clothing does that for yeah. each and every one of us. Yeah. We dress how we feel. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're feeling sad, sometimes you just want to be in a big t-shirt and of jeans course. and just yeah. walk out. It's <laughs> a statement. Like yeah. Yeah. Then on stage, it's like, this is who I am. Mm-hmm. Take it or leave it. I mean, yeah. you're going to have your... Some say, uh, you're half naked. Some <laughs> say, ah, this is your worry. <laughs> <laughs> how would you take that criticism? I'm like, oh. Do you know what? It's too much. It's a bold statement. My fashion is a yeah, bold statement. Yeah. Uh-huh. I I think it's. I've also learned over time that and that's okay. Mm-hmm. That's, that's fine. Yeah. I should always remain true to who I am because mm-hmm. if I don't do that, I can't give you the art. Yes. If I try to please everyone, I cannot be an artist yes. in my true essence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So my fashion is a statement, and it's also just about. Can I move in this and yeah. can I move in the mm-hmm. best way possible yeah. wearing this? Yeah. It doesn't work. Oh, no, we about gospel. <laughs> <laughs> no, but gospel artists are killing it lately, hey, with the fashion. Yeah. I think yeah. th- it has changed over uh-huh. time. Yeah, sure. Like I'm saying, fashion is a statement and dress how you feel. I mean, mm-hmm. how you dress contributes to your confidence yeah. it contributes to your delivery of whatever mm-hmm. it is that you're doing mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not just you feel like I'm looking good mm-hmm. and look, 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 look. everyone is looking at me because <laughs> I look good yeah. so dress how you feel express mm-hmm. yourself through fashion and that's exactly what I do my mm-hmm. music is is very dynamic and mm-hmm. d- diverse and so the costumes should also um, showcase that as well mm. they're very glittery and yeah. and and glossy and all of that uh-huh. i feel fabulous when i'm on stage mm-hmm. so i think my fashion also says that for me i like that yeah and in 2020 tell me you featured in the gonari show film yes. you know tell us about that you know your your acting your acting career yes um i'm grateful to a whole team of people um particularly um Sydney Taiwabashi, a guy called Sydney Taiwabashi, and mm-hmm. Mr. Charles Mganasa, uh-huh. who's the director. Mm-hmm. These people pushed me in that direction. Mm-hmm. And even Munya Chizonga as well. Munya, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, he was like, no, you should try this out. Exactly. I think, you know, if you mm-hmm. can act in the music video. Yeah, you can also do that on the You can also yeah. try yeah. on yeah. screen mm-hmm. film, right? Yeah. So. Shout out to these people. I think it was a journey of taking myself out of my comfort zone because mm-hmm. it's just singing, singing, singing 24-7. Yeah. But why not try this other thing and, mm-hmm. and see how well you do? So yeah. I sent in a couple of my audition tapes. Mm-hmm. Uh, my one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't re-watch those things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> But the, the thing was good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. The I mean, was it, it, was, it was a lot of training. It was a lot of mm-hmm. behind the scenes. Chowood's ones, no, do this this yes. way. Try yes. and mm-hmm. act in this manner. So I, I did my level best. Yeah. Like, I think I'll do it again. Like, yeah, sure. We can't wait to yeah. see you again on, on the big screen as well. Yes. Yeah. So, in, I mean, how did you get that role? Um, 
I actually met the director Sydney Tabashi at the Namas mm-hmm. 2018. Yes. I've been nominated mm-hmm. uh in best female category and I think he saw me there and he was like I think you'd be great for a role that yes. I'm writing for a yes. film in Unzi. But you know at the time you're like ah. Yeah. Ah, that's not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my thing. So he kept pushing, he kept uh-huh. pushing and he eventually created a relationship with my management and mm-hmm. then I, I think he knew cuz he Don't don't win any ugu. Ne ugu. Cuz I was very reluctant to do it. In that film you, you you played the role uh, the character, you know, uh, of Chipo. Uh or the role easy, I mean, for you. Yes. Uh, and also <laughs> getting into character, you know, wasn't it challenging? It, <laughs> it was tough. <laughs> it was very tough. Yes. I, 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 cheap, okay. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> um it was it was tough, but uh-huh. it was a lot of training, like I said. Mm-hmm. Um and the director just encouraging me to say, No, you can do this and mm-hmm. work on this particular part. And would do it over and over and over and over again mm-hmm. um, until you know he'd he'd get the the good cut out of whatever it is that I was doing. Yes. Um. It was it was it was hard. Chibo angalim skanda wegumusha, and you know I had to have a little bit of a rough look. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I'd shave my sides as well. Eish ah, chibo eish. <laughs> but I think being able to bring life to the character uh-huh. made me feel really good. Oh yeah. It made me feel like no mm-hmm. whatever it is that I put my mind to I can actually do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can actually do and shout out to the director for yeah. making me believe that I can do it. I like that. Mm-hmm. So in mid 2021 uh Tommy you were appointed as the brand ambassador for Zimoko. That's a big yes. signing, you know, a big signing. You know, yes. tell us about that uh, achievement. <laughs> were you even expecting that? I really wasn't. Yeah. I really wasn't. Like mm-hmm. I said, life everything will always come together as long as you pray for alignment. Yes. Right? Yes. Just a week before mm-hmm. the announcement I remember having a conversation with my dad I always say this yeah I always tell this story na ndaka parka muna Jason Moyo and I I got a call from my dad he's like oh no we need to do this and this and this and at the time I really felt like nothing was moving <laughs> exactly <laughs> So I was I was upset mm-hmm. and I just went off and I mm-hmm. said like you know what I don't want to do this anymore mm-hmm. I'm tired like yeah. I've been doing this since I was young and mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm even doing it like yeah. I I was I was really distraught at the time that moment you wanted like to quit the music yeah oh yeah I really wanted to. Mm-hmm. I shout out to my dad for for holding that in because yeah, yeah. he kept saying to me, "No, you can't say that because you mm-hmm. don't know what s- exactly. what door is opening for you very mm-hmm. soon." I'm like, "Ah, uh, ah." Uh. I don't want. Very soon every day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Very soon every day. Very soon every day. And you didn't know that someone big something big was about to Then he kept it in and a week later, mm-hmm. a week or two later, the announcement came. Mm. And I was informed of the announcement a day before. A day before. A day before. How did you I mean I was your, in your, disbelief. Your I was in disbelief. Ooh. I honestly thought it it was not real. <laughs> I thought it was not real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Zimoko is a big brand. Very big brand. When you're driving a Benz in Zimbabwe, you're like, okay, I don't want to drive a Zimoko. Because they know yeah. Zimoko is a big brand. It is. And you uh, getting that, uh, you know, uh, I mean, ambassadorship uh, deal. Mm-hmm. Ish. I know people will be like, I can't want to say this deal. Mm-hmm. I can't want to say this deal. Because mm-hmm. you're, you're a very good artist, like I said. <laughs> you are international. So I, 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 I think um, when we go to Zimoko, they saw the... They artist did. in the i mean the international artist in you say they did so tukamisa apa pa brand redu but hango nonga kango tango isa munwa it's true so what was the package like very good mhm very good did they give you a car yes like a personal car yes it's a big deal yes trust me people are being <laughs> 
called brand ambassadors out. Oh, oh, by the way, I'm not dissing anyone, but I'm just saying yeah. uh, people are doing just uh, no, no, like cinema. People love, love those pictures. Uh, just sign up my, my, my ambassadorship deals. Yeah. Then you then dig deep and say, okay, what what's in it? What's what's in mm-hmm. the deal? Yeah. Then you're like, oh, guys, <laughs> Hola. guys, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> so I'm going to go deeper there, but. Uh, I, I I like that because they give you a car. They so is is it just like one car or they just say after a certain time we'll give you another one? Because <laughs> each year they release a car, they listen you. They do. Yeah. They do. Um very privileged and fortunate mm-hmm. enough to work with a brand that yes. is as big mm-hmm. as Imoko. Yeah. And for them entrusting me to mm-hmm. be the face of yeah. Zimoko is yeah. something i don't take for granted mm, at all true um the deal is is very simple yeah. um and straight to the point mm-hmm. whatever you see me in yeah so you, you your role is just to push the Zimoko brand or it's just to what do you do i am a brand ambassador where when you see me move you're basically seeing Zimoko move yes. and more than anything else it's to create the conversation around mm-hmm. corporate um yes. supporting yeah. young people mm-hmm. and i think zimoka has done an incredible job at mm-hmm. supporting me at what i do yeah um it's the first we're always the first yeah you know, yeah zimoka <laughs> tell me the best of the best yeah um it's 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 us leading the conversation around corporate yeah. and and creatives mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure after that I- endorsement there was a lot of conversation around how does corporate venture into more of yes, these deals yes. and we are happy to lead that conversation mm. as Zimoko and Tammy is also yeah. I basically just am the face I'm a moving billboard for mm-hmm. Zimoko so mm-hmm. um whatever it is that you need talk to me yeah um if there's need to refer you to somebody else mm-hmm. i will but it's basically to tell you what the brand is about yeah. um what they're offering mm-hmm. the latest of the latest they always have the newest make yes. of yes. the best brands in mm-hmm. the world mm-hmm. so that's basically what i do that's, and a, that's a big yeah. that's a big signing so um, apart from the zimogo um uh, brand do you have other endorsements as well yes i do mm-hmm. uh I'm about to announce one very soon. Wow. <laughs> Serious? Yes. That's my big, man. That's my big, my big moves. Yeah. Big moves, man. <laughs> Tell me more for you on this part here on the All Seven Podcast Show. So, you know what? Uh, you were also nominated for the Best Female Artist, uh, Tell me, in Southern Africa under the prestigious award at uh, the prestigious all african music awards yes. in 2021 yes. you know you ran the battle alongside makadzi you know who begged the award yes. shasha amongst others um i mean you, how did you feel uh, uh, when your name was selected among these you know n- big names uh, giants i felt very honored mm-hmm. very honored these these are women who are killing it in their respective mm-hmm. um genres yeah um in their different countries as well mm-hmm. so it's a big 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 um win for me to just be found in the same category as these awesome names mm-hmm. and for me it was affirmation to say i'm doing something yes. right yeah right i'm on the right track mm-hmm. somebody out there is watching and thinking oh no she's she's good at what she does mm-hmm. so it was a big honor for me but i know one of these days we're going to take one home of course but I, I, <laughs> you know what uh, tell me what positives uh, can you say you managed to get, you know, from that nomination despite not winning the award? I've been nominated for the Afremas even last year, mm-hmm. eh? which, yeah. which which is interesting. And just from that alone, just mentioning that mm-hmm. um, brings quite a little bit of weight to my resume. Mm-hmm. When you walk in the room and you say, yeah, yeah. I've been a, nominate, a nominee <laughs> for the Afremas. Yes. It's a nice, it's a nice kama. Yeah, of course. It has a nice ring to it, yes. but more yeah. so it's, um, the kind of doors that you can knock on as well. Mm-hmm. They change from just being local yeah. to regional, mm-hmm. then regional to international. international. Yeah. So the conversations are happening mm-hmm. with the right people. Yes. And yes. I trust and believe that the doors will open. I'm hopeful. Mm-hmm. I am thankful for even the things that I don't see right yeah. now. Yeah. I know they're on their way. Mm-hmm. Powerful. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the relationship. Your relationship. Let's talk about relationship. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, Ola. Yes, Ola. Uh, who are you seeing these days? <laughs> or should I start with maybe with... Uh, are you still together with uh, Rodney Chueda? 
No, 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 no. You no longer together. No. What, what happened to you guys? You're a, you're a good couple, you know. <laughs> I think I think growth mm-hmm. growth happens, and people want different things for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Growth. Just growth. You remind me of Jackie and say, okay, I, I asked Jackie about the, her, her relationship with Pokera. Is okay, growth. <laughs> it has growth. No, it happens. Yeah, it happens. But was he like your first boyfriend? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but you're young. I remember the days. I, I, I remember the days very well. I was like, oh, I know, I know. And, and, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know, a lot of guys, one auntie now, she's oh, oh, <laughs> hanging around with when they see you with the chihuahua. They were so jealous. You know, they're like, hey, really? This one is pombi boy. Don't tell us, baby. Don't tell us, baby. But anyway, chihuahua can't be bad. Ramon, I get bored. But um. That's not like you you know Chuera being a producer and you being an artist and also a relationship. No, I think he was very good at what he was doing, mm-hmm. and I think it complemented what I was doing. Mm. There was obviously naturally um, there'll be disagreement, but yeah, most of the time I think he's incredible at what he does. I love to ask yeah. a very uncomfortable uh, questions when it comes really? to relationships. You know what I mean? Because. <laughs> Uh, there's some talks, you know, rumors around the world. But anyways, I want to ask you something, you know, tell me. Oh, hola. Okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. You're okay. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you, you're okay. But don't know, you remember, you're on the spot. It's okay. okay. I'm on it's, the it's, spot. It's, it's I'm okay. on the spot. Was it, was it a genuine relationship or it was because uh, you guys met at the studio and you are doing your music. Then she went as a producer like, okay, this is a very beautiful girl. Uh, of Akudayo for Amudo because uh, maybe Nitro or Basarango Bori but they may you know tell us about no yeah <laughs> I think on my end obviously like that was never the case because my parents mm-hmm. are the most supportive people yes. so anything that I I needed at the time mm-hmm. they would mm-hmm. always provide for me I yes. never looked at anybody else to provide anything yeah. for me if mm-hmm. I felt like I wanted to work with a certain producer my yeah. dad would always be the bridge or the mediator or the way to get to that person mm-hmm. so I never struggled with that it was never about that yeah um I think I I am genuine when I mm-hmm. feel something about yeah. someone and I think that even reflects in my art as well mm, mm. um I'm very genuine about everything that I do my mm-hmm. art my craft uh my friendships as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. um family how I love on those close to me and mm-hmm. my personal relationships so it was never it, that was it like your longest uh relationship I think so yeah mm-hmm. with Chueda <laughs> Given a chance, would you go back to each other? Oh, hola. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yo, I got a nerve. I <laughs> no, it's growth. It's growth. I mean, you life. You have to experience life and mm-hmm. deal with whatever comes your way. Yeah. And if it doesn't serve you anymore, just mm-hmm. uh, keep growing. Yeah, with just like friendships yeah. or whatever, you may outgrow a mm-hmm. friendship. Mm-hmm relationships is the same thing and i'm yeah. not immune to that and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just like everybody else sometimes something is not serving you mm-hmm. or something isn't for you anymore seasons yeah. mm-hmm. there's seasons to everything yeah so i am hopeful for so are you are, are you seeing a celebrity <laughs> guy or you prefer <laughs> someone who's not a celebrity <laughs> someone who's just <laughs> in their own corner there? i'm open to being with a good person mm-hmm. very good person mm-hmm. i think character counts for so much yeah it counts for so much my line of work is one that requires for me to be emotionally in a good place yeah not saying that i'm immune to mm-hmm. to terrible experiences yeah. you know i'm just saying i would love someone who has a great character yeah, yeah. um someone who is loving very mm-hmm. caring mm-hmm. someone who is genuine yes yeah do you have that person <laughs> not yet. Not not yet. Not yet. So you mean you're single at the moment? <laughs> I am. You are single? Yes. Jeez. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I see your DM getting full right now. Oh People are like, goodness. okay. Mas, mas CV is good character. You can make good character. Chi 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 chi. Oh. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but yeah. I think at the core of it, like. Mm. I really um would appreciate a kind man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm not going to go to the music. I'm not going to go to the music. I was just not being kind. Yeah, I'll sit up here. I'll sit up here and tell you that. I was, don't even dream about it. Don't even think about it. I I would never, I'd never leave uh-huh. what I'm doing yeah. to pursue a relationship. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is my calling. Yeah. This is my calling from God. I think it's very evident mm-hmm. to see, mm-hmm. right? And I think for every person in life, I think I might not know everything. I might mm-hmm. not have all the wisdom or all the knowledge, but mm-hmm. I do know that your partner counts for so much in yes, life. Yes. They yes. determine whether you go further in life mm-hmm. or you stay in the same place yes. or you actually regress. Mm-hmm. So choose your partner wisely. Don't be the person and open them life here muno or tanga kumuda oti. Don't do what you are, what you are doing. Exactly. Love people for who they mm. are and love people where they are in yes. life. Yeah. Don't try to change other people. Mm. Otherwise go and find someone who's like minded. Hey. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> powerful guys. I think that, that, that's that's a shot there. <laughs> that's a shot. So, you know, at, uh, at some point you were rumored uh, to be dating Holly Ten and Takura, you know. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Even he, ghost is looking at you like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> ghost, I see you. <laughs> but, but, but maybe, yeah, you just clear the air because, you know, people just no. secular stuff. No, 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 no. Two of us because, you know. That's very false. Yeah, the, the very song, I guess, when I end with Aisha, you know, this track, Panaholi Ten, Pani Pati Agati, Akakumisa Tami. Yes. You know that? Mm-hmm. So, on God about Holy Ten, what happened? Um, no, um, yeah, I I think on, online. No, be, 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 be honest. Yes, online. Don't shake it around. But those people, hola. <laughs> ah, yeah. I see ghost laughing there. Ah, my word. My word. Ah, ah. What happened? Um, no, I think there was online. Mm-hmm. A holy tenant posted something, and um. I just gave my response uh-huh. and people then interpreted that how they wanted okay. to be interpreted uh-huh. but I have so much respect for the two people that you've mentioned mm-hmm. I love them very much in their respective yeah. genres and fields they're mm-hmm. good at what they do mm-hmm. I always say that I mean I've worked with them before mm-hmm. and like I said earlier on I only work with people who I genuinely believe are good at what yes. they do whether yes. they're big at the time or they're mm-hmm. not big at the time yeah. and I'm very fortunate enough to say I met these people way before mm-hmm. all of this was around and oh, way yes. before their big break mm-hmm. so it's 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 they're literal family to me they're family so guys, they're like family no takura na ngumbo dai dai boli tena na ngumbo dana na na tami but after, 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 after that spark on social media didn't holy ten uh come into your inbox and say okay let's just do it no Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the spot for sure. You are. Ash. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No. I mean. So, what, what what are your thoughts on um on the current uh, state of the music in Zimbabwe? You know, yeah, especially on the females part. Uh, do you think the ground is level? Mm-hmm. Um. I think the space has changed so much. Mm-hmm. From the time I started my journey to now, uh things are very different. Mm-hmm. And for females, I see a lot of conversations around females, yes. which is good to watch. Mm-hmm. Which is good to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Long gone other days when you'd only speak of a female artist as a supporting act. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Now females actually headline their mm-hmm. own things. Mm-hmm. Do their own things and I'm happy to to see that happening. Yeah. And I'm happy to be a part of that conversation. That's powerful. Mm-hmm. And uh, where do you get the money, you know? Um <laughs> uh, digital platforms, shows, endorsements, like It's a lot it's a, it's a lot of everything. Mm-hmm. It's a little and a lot of everything. Yeah. It's the gigs, it's the streams, it's the endorsement deals. Mhm. Mm-hmm. It's the things that you then take on aside from the music. Mm-hmm. You use your platform to create something else for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have an, any other business that you're into? I can't say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. do. Uh-huh. I do. You're doing some stuff, you know, behind the scenes. Yes. Okay. No, that's yes. great. So uh, <laughs> tell me, uh, who is your favorite musician uh, locally? And what kind of music do you enjoy listening to? I have a lot of um, favorite musicians. Uh-huh. A lot of them. 
Should I name all of them? Yeah, maybe maybe your favorite. Yeah, <laughs> let's see the list. Everybody I've ever worked with. Yeah. And I also didn't mention I always say mm-hmm. Aishan is incredible. Yeah. Aishan. I Aishan. Mhm. I love Master H. I love Chakura. Uh-huh. JP. Mhm. Winky. Um Feli. Mhm. I I have a lot. Yeah. I I love Chuoni Somarare a lot. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Mm-hmm. A whole lot. Mm-hmm. Soldier love. Sam Mutukuzi as well. Mm-hmm. I think if you listen to some of my stuff, there's a little yeah. bit of an influence there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love Dudu Manenga, Prudence Katomeni, Oliver, Dr. Oliver. I love Kiki. I love Young Gemini. Yes, Young Gemini. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love Nyasha David. Uh-huh. I think he's, he's super dope. Mm-hmm. I love K Flow. Mm-hmm. Saint Flow. Yes. I love Saint Flow. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. A- a- and you mentioned uh, Winky D. Are we going to see uh, something between you and Winky? Hopefully. Wow. Oh yeah. We can't wait to see that. <laughs> I also can't wait. <laughs> I also can't wait. Yeah, because Winky is a big artist, so I can't yeah, wait he's to dope. see you, you know, doing a collaboration with um with the Winky D. Yes. It'll be like a ah a plus. It'll be fire. Yeah, yeah of course. And <laughs> your vibe as well is like <laughs> Thank you. you know, sometimes when I see you performing, you uh vibra go you're in the same class or na 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 Amara Brown. Okay. Because Amara, you know, the performance when you go to the yeah. 180 what what yeah, in the outfit she's fire <laughs> which is you know like the artistic is no but mm. so the artist yeah those are now each time and no 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 but tell me guys and, and then i think my zimbos yeah it's <laughs> a, a long way to go uh, i think we do we are not supporting our local artists as much as we are supposed to be doing in the team ready um what i see the likes of tammy and Amara and those and Ashashi, you know, uh, and the likes being on the international stage. Yeah. Because you guys are doing amazing stuff. Thank you. But as Tangiguti, as Tangiguti, as Tangiguti, as Tangiguti, as Grammys, as Tangiguti, as Tangiguti, as Tangiguti, so I think we guys, Isusu, got to embrace Isusu now, now guys. Thank you. Support. Let's, let's give them support, enough support. Listen yes. to their music, my streams. Also attend. Because the time you are going to pay for my go and support. Tell yes. Me. Yeah, that's the thing. That's <laughs> yeah. the thing. Did you know she support us so that means I won't be here. I want no. I think to be very honest with you, I I agree with that message mm-hmm. very much, very much. I I think we appreciate your support, mm-hmm. guys, wherever you are. We are very proud to be Zimbabwean and we don't want to push any other narrative. Mm-hmm. We are proudly Zimbabweans who make music for Zimbabweans, mm-hmm. music that is made by Zimbabweans. So mm. support us when you can. But I do want to acknowledge that, like you said, mm-hmm. Zimbabweans have been very supportive yes. of my journey. And yes. mm-hmm. they're on it. They're, you know, supporting, yeah. pushing. Yeah. They're always saying, you know what, mm-hmm. we hope one day Tammy can fly the flag high. And that yes. is the goal. That is yes. the aim. And over the years, I think you, you see that even mm-hmm. a lot of people are taking in a lot of Zim yes. content yes. as well. Yes. You yes. know, they're yes. looking at Zimbabwean artists and saying, look, you know mm-hmm. what, this one can represent us. This one can represent yes. us. Tammy can represent us. Mm-hmm. And it's a good place to be in. And uh, there's more, still more work to be done. But mm. I do acknowledge that we've come very far. And day by day, bit by bit, we're getting it right. So very I'm true. thankful to everyone who's been supportive. And uh, you know what? How do you like to spend... Your free time. I swim. <laughs> yeah, swim, 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 swim. I swim. swim. <laughs> I'm in the water. Whether it's like a hot, nice bath. So I, I've been following the, Ol- the Olympics, you know, yes. which are happening in France. You know, and you know, I'm swimmer. So are you following that as well? No, I'm not. I want to be very honest. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very proud of that. I think. So you, you swim for fun? I do. For fun? You, you're not going yes. to take that as a profession? No. <laughs> make money out of it like Cass Coventry I mean I would join a club mm-hmm. I'm very keen to join a club and right. just swim for fun you know the backstrokes yeah okay. <laughs> I want you to teach me one day I will I will <laughs> next time you go swimming there just let me know Ola let's go I will <laughs> <laughs> so your, your advice to to the upcoming you know female artists um use what you have Use what you have and know where you want to go right mm-hmm. now, even mm-hmm. before you make it. I think that shapes a lot of what you will then do once mm-hmm. you are in the, on the scene. And 
remain rooted and grounded in that plan. Yes, Remember yes. why you started doing what you were doing mm-hmm. and stay focused on that until you get to where you need to get to. Yeah. Yeah, and stay true to yourself. Remain authentic. Mm-hmm. Um, I know when you're starting out as a creative, everyone has an idea of what they think you should be. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, ultimately what matters is what you think you should be. Because mm-hmm. everyone is always going to have an opinion. Yeah, Especially true. for Very female true. creatives. Yes, yeah. You know, I think you ukaimba zakada ika ah no go na kunda kumberi but mm-hmm. you need to know why you do what you do mm-hmm. and use what you have that's very true and uh, before we let you go uh tamim what do you want to be or who do you want to be at what do you want to be remembered for yeah let me put it that way what do you want to be remembered for I want to be remembered as that Zimbabwean queen who did that on that international platform. Wow. Yeah. That's big. That's a big dream. Yeah, it's a very big dream. Yeah. It scares me a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but keep on pushing. You <laughs> you get there, trust me. You get there. I w- I, w- I want I want to make my nation proud. Uh-huh. I mean I'm very Zimbabwean at my core. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think anybody can tell our story better than us. Mm-hmm. When you go out there, the thing that separates you from everybody else is yeah. that is yeah. that you're Zimbabwean, it's that you are African and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I want them to say <laughs> I want to be up there with my flag. <laughs> exactly. Showing off. Wow. Cuz I see all these other nations doing hey. it at all these award shows we and what what what. Yeah, this we can do it. Yeah. Our country, this is what, that's what I want to do mm-hmm. for not just myself, for not just my family, mm-hmm. but for my nation at large. Yeah. I love being Zimbabwean. Yeah. Take it all, the good, the bad. The I bad, love yeah. I love 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 being Zimbabwean. That's great. Yeah. Uh, some I see some people you know uh, I can go pin them South Africa I chat to them Zimbabwean. I can go even pandemang ma Zimbabweans. I get it. Ah chat to you go Zimbabwean. So ah chat to Zimbabwean. You know good this tradition just says good Zimbabwe pass. No guys, it's not good at all. Yeah. Uh, tell me before I let you go. Uh, I want you to give us a freestyle. <laughs> um, but before the freestyle, this is the moment I I, I give to everyone. Uh, and we have this podcast. Uh, yes, I've I, I've asked you know questions, mm-hmm. but of course there's something that would say ah, but in the capo of Canada, I want to say this to the people. Yeah, I want to share this with the people. Uh, don't understand what you vunza or whatever, but it's really hard to put. Okay, given a chance, I want to mm-hmm. say A, B, C, D. This is your chance. Tell me, talk to your fans. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's been a part of my journey. There's no me without you. There's no streams without you. There's no shows without you guys. Without hearing your screams on stage, without seeing your comments mm. on my platforms, I'm very grateful. And uh I do want you to follow me. Yeah. When you can. Yeah. On all of the platforms, subscribe and please go and stream the new album Bold. Bold. And let me know which one you are enjoying of yeah. that entire project. It's, a, it's already on Spotify. Yes, it uh-huh. is. It's out on all digital stores. Mm-hmm. It's out on YouTube. It's out on any platform you can think of. Yes. The album Bold is mm-hmm. out. I'm so thankful for you guys. They personally me Tisi Popano as creative. Very true. Um this album is a testament of strength. It's a testament of your support. Mm-hmm. Um it's the story of a young girl who yes. kept persevering mm-hmm. from the two people who supported to the five to the 10 to the thousands yes. and into the millions. Mm-hmm. So I thank you guys so much. Follow me on all these platforms that's T A M Y M O Y O. Remember to stay true to yourself. Mm. Remain in a, in your higher power and and they come no diva. Mm. As in they come no diva guys. They come no continue shades go. It go go. Mashoko mashoko ma o there. But there's a, there's a trick. Yeah, they can so in a in this beat in a vibrant like na gona. I think don't quite know anything. In a sort of like dance or yeah. You know? Exactly. Exactly. What what about him dance it? And we far. I think it's a tribute to to everybody who's ever come exactly. and and and, yeah. and and ventured in zim dance. I uh-huh. think uh-huh. it's the people's genre, man, yeah, and I love it's it. True, <laughs> <laughs> true. So give us your freestyle, um, uh, Tommy. 
I love your voice. Thank you. <laughs> Which one do you want me to sing? No, any, 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 any. Because they're all good. Quatinova. Quatinova. Okay. Okay, Quatinova is, is the old one, right? Yeah. So it, uh, maybe Quatinova and the other one. And okay. the new one. Okay. Quatinova. 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 Handinare. Quatinova. Handinare. Quatinova. Quando nova Quando nova handinare Quando nova Hoya I'm from the city of the restless Ejo I ride and I people go and I I'm putting you on the spot Ndoku chao re basong yoga in bye Then obviously the new one Yeah the new one yeah Exactly. 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 <laughs> Good name invitation. Kusina yuzi unge CNN. Don't want to end up. Iwe, adi kusina yuzi unge CNN. Ah, adi kusina yuzi unge CNN. Adi kusina yuzi unge CNN. Adi kusina yuzi unge CNN. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I really enjoyed this interview. Trust me. Thank you I, so much. I've done interviews before. Yeah. But this one. Enjoy it. A different one. <laughs> Thank trust you. Me. Trust me. This is from the heart. Thank you so much. Um she is intelligent. She's smart. She's bold. Her name is Tammy Moyo. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel Tammy Moyo. Kwanas. Bye bye. I'm yours truly Ola 7. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.